And then on Wednesday, the 23rd, Wednesday is Mercury's Day. Every Wednesday is. So um, the wing messenger rules the day. So expect lots of communications. You may want to pad your schedule with a little extra wiggle room. You never know what might come up out of the blue on Mercury's Day. And then you have uh, the moon leaving Scorpio. <sighs> Sigh of relief. Entering Sagittarius at 3.15 p.m. East on Wednesday. Sagittarius keywords and phrases include aspiration, adventure, jovial, optimistic, broad-minded, outspoken, expansive, wanderlust, eager, and fun. Eager and fun. Ooh, we should do it. Absolutely. Your friend's baby born on 11, 11, 12. Yes, we should. This should be like a, you know, a special thing I do for babies and parents who want to like find out about their kids. Maybe we'll do something like that. Um, and it's also National Cashew Day on Wednesday. That's exciting. So um, cashews represent masculine sun fire energy. And per Scott Cunningham, this is such a great book, cashews are used for prosperity and money spells. So I don't know if you do any work with herbs, but this is like the Bible. This is just such a great book. Um, and that's what Scott Cunningham says about Nash, uh, cashews. He doesn't speak about National Cashew Day, but those cashews, he's really into them. Good morning, Fran Marie. Nice to see you. So it's National Cashew Day and... You can use your cashews for inviting more prosperity and money into your life. Maybe offer some cashews to uh, a deity or eat some cashews with that intention. I actually, my favorite thing is frozen green grapes with raw cashews. Thank me later. It's an amazing snack. Um, so maybe, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Also... On National Cashew Day, we have the Sagittarius New Moon. How exciting is this? Uh, it's a very lucky new moon, folks. Very lucky indeed to find out what life area you're going to have more luck. Find out where one degree of Sagittarius falls in your astrological chart and also where 28 degrees falls in your chart too. So um, even though... Pisces is a water sign and fire and Sagittarius is a fire sign. Jupiter will be making a trine to the moon, the new moon. If we notice Jupiter is at 28 degrees and that's only within a few degrees of Aries, right? And Aries is a fire sign. Sag is a fire sign. So they trine. So this is a very, very lucky new moon. The luckiest of the whole entire year. No doubt about it. Be sure to check out your new moon and Sagittarius horoscopes. The link to that is in the description below. And I'm not sure if you join me or not for, I think it was Friday. Yeah, it was Friday's live stream. We gave you lucky scopes. We spoke about how you can leverage the Sagittarius new moon to your greatest advantage and where you're lucky. So check that out if you have not already. That is also in the description below. Also, on Wednesday, Jupiter goes direct on the day of the new moon. Perfect, right? So um, we're still in Pisces, right? Because v Jupiter was in Aries, and then it retrograded. And it retrograded back into Pisces, and now it's direct, and it's going direct in Pisces. So expansion will come through compassion, it's a good time for healing and imagination. We should feel very inspired. And Jupiter will be in Pisces until December 20th, at which point it will go back into Aries. We'll talk all about that when the time comes. 